on your smartphone, connect to a Wi-Fi network whose name starts with Thinkware. Morning everyone. GPS connected. Shut up woman. It is a snap on Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I don't know what we're going to get. Deliveries are shit. Uh, replacement parts are no good. And the stuff that we've ordered hasn't turned up. So I don't know what's going to happen today. We have got a new flyer. Um, I'm hoping we're going to have summer. But I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I have the Ford Transit already in. That we are doing the camera investigation head, head to the cable and in, inspect that we've got to do front and rear obviously dash cams front internal rear external and then whatever else I get to it depends how long this cable thing takes me now I don't have Ford parts um, so I'm gonna to have to inspect it maybe there's a plug maybe I can do continuity checks and wiggle the cable around and see if it breaks or falters I don't know we'll have to see but it's going to be uh, um, a kind of trial and tribulation, trial and testing kind of day. It is uh, 7.20. It, it looks fairly warm. She like the JC. It's moisture today, not frost. I think some parts of the country are supposed to have 17 degrees this week. This week. Not sure how that works, because we are in November. Um, but yeah, lots of lots of wind and rain coming in, but it's supposed to be quite warm. So we'll just take it as it comes. Uh, we need some breakfast. Gonna visit Greg's this morning. Everyone in the gym already. Hope you are good, hope you are well. We've had a few more join from the subscriber front and I saw somebody this morning commented, Subby, well done. Thank you for listening. You understood the directive and did as you were asked, thank you. Um, Ooh, if you've got any comments, stick them down in the comment section. I haven't spoke to my regulars for a little while, so come down and say hello. We're still uh, we're still missing Jerry. I've not seen him in a while. So if you're watching Jerry, say hello. Hope you're all right, mate. But we will get our way on to work with some Jay-Z flutter. catch up with you after we've had some breakfast we will go from there oh, I was sure about riding the Segway this morning because it did say that it was going to get a bit a bit cold and a bit horrible foggy last night but actually I would have been alright but this thing is rather fun I cannot deny it I can't believe the prices of chasers in America at the minute. My God, they're expensive, even for ratty ones. We do need to continue with the Lotus build as well. <coughs> we can start doing the heads and get all that done, get the pistons put in their liners, make a little step forward. It'd be nice to get that done. I've signed me and wifey up to um, we did ages ago, we did Mr. Scramble where I raced the Ferrari on the way back. Um, we've signed up for the first one in 2022, which is in January. So, got the day for me and wifey and I've kind of said I'm taking the Lotus, so we need to have that ready. Which would be nice. So that would be something to look forward to, but I need to get the Lotus done get it installed, get it ready, do some running in mileage. But it'd be like a Christmas project. But yeah, we'll have another video on the scramble because that was good fun last time. And 
wifey's never been and it's all classic cars but she likes that kind of stuff so that'd be cool right i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna get me uh my heavy foot on go and get some brekkie i'll see you in a bit the mic and make sure it sound right boys Morning. Morning, how are you? I'm alright, you? Yeah, good, New flyer? Yeah. Just there. Cool. Oh. The bits aren't here yet. So A lot of the bits. Some no, of the bits. Not most of the bits, just the Oh. The, the special stuff. The special the stuff. Best stuff. They are coming but so if you do buy stuff then obviously I'll put you on the list of stuff that Ooh. one of those and one of those. Lovely. So you got a couple of bits turned up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Crimpers, cutters. I tell you what, them new cutters I bought. The plastic prop, ones. Proper good. Oh good. Yeah, yeah, yeah really, yeah, really. Sold, sold out of them. Yeah, yeah, they are they are really, really good. good. Dead impressed. Got these bits, hammers, these and these are new for the Rubik's Cube, and then you've got the ratchets for the glasses. Mm. What's um what's the crack with this then? I'll show you. Oh you got one. So the same grips on there, but these have got so basically for a flank jaw slip joint pliers for a bolt. Alright, oh, right. so you can use that as actually like a Yes, yeah. like a like a spanner. Oh, okay. So, Interesting. Yeah. Cool, look at all them. It's a nice little set. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Sold much this morning? First, your first call. Ah. Yeah, you're the first one. Nice. Yeah, so. We'll have a set of them. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Red, obviously. Of course. Don't mess up the OCD. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Ah, uh, right. Um, Some drifty foams. Yeah, back to the um, back to the ones. He's done well for himself, that boy. Hey. I said he's done well for himself, that boy. He has. 
Adios. Good old drifter. Oh, my knife, dude. Yeah. This is that one I was on about. It doesn't fall apart, but, it but it's it's like really loose. Yeah, the bolts there, isn't it? it? Doesn't seem to be. Like I, I don't know how I tighten it up. I'm guessing that's some kind of security. Torques. Looks like it's small torques. Just it's just that. That yeah. Rattle in it. I don't know whether that was normal or not. I don't want the thing coming apart, you know, at force and me yeah, yeah, slicing no. my finger open. Yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh, you got some black ones. They're cool. Hey. Black ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a pure electric on it. Nice. What is that sold as like a set, is it? Yeah, they were on a bit of a deal. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, it's an eight. I just thought I needed another eight. <laughs> oh, I might have one in there. I'll give it a go. Yeah. Well, we need two, don't we? we need one either side. Yeah. I should have. I should have enough sets to give it a, a little tickle. Yeah, I'll give it a little tighten up. See what happens. Okay. It might. The only thing is, it might tighten up your the flick. That flick. Yeah. But... Well, as long as it doesn't separate and slice my digit off. Yeah. I'll be all right. What's that t-shirt? It's, yeah, it's a thingy one, it was a cancer one. Remember the breast? Uh, oh, yeah, breast yeah. One. yeah. Yeah, it's one of those. Mm. Right, I need to start writing down a list of people who's having Rubik's Cubes. A lot of the American guys were laughing. They said they'd never seen a snap-on truck so small. Obviously, they get yeah. the big stuff uh, over yeah, there. Like fucking 15 footers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I said on, on our UK roads, you wouldn't get that into some of the places you've got to go, like the estates and stuff. The problem is it'd be fuel as well. Imagine one of those. They're like oh. six, seven litre things. Yeah. It'd oh, yeah. They... about 500 quid a week fuel on <laughs> Yeah, they don't They don't have expensive fuel bills like we do. No, they don't. No, they don't. Fair play to them. They're some nice trucks, actually, to the show they do. Some really nice trucks. That's where I'm on the franchisee site. And yeah, some of the stuff do you get, get. Do you get truck envy? Yeah, <laughs> it's massive. So you wouldn't, like you say, you wouldn't ever have. I think there's one maybe Mack truck that's an American one that's over in the UK. Right. But I can imagine what it would cost to fucking insure it and fill it up with fuel. And yeah, I suppose. And just get it down roads. I wouldn't get it down some of my roads that go through. On well, you wouldn't turn it around here, would you? No. Not with the way that people park. And imagine trying, yeah, try, even trying to park up here to see you. Imagine that. You block off five five yeah. garages. Yeah. I'd love to park halfway down the road. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Um, I think we're all right for breakages this week. I've had a few bits and bobs wear out, but um, generally, I think we're all good. Good. What car? What is that? Little strippers, like oh, like pool strippers. Ones, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, little. So you can just different. Mm. And a crow's foot. On a adjustable, yeah. <laughs> I like that. As the tool for every yeah. job. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's give you some money. Right then, everyone, we've moved into the transit. I've got this section apart to investigate all the camera cabling. I can't see anything wrong with it at the minute, but whether it's a broken cable through the sleeve here, or whether it's a you know grommet issue, I don't know. But we've got our lights in because he wanted these doing as well. So before the lights are up here at the top. And the problem is, is if he leaves the van open, they're always on and eventually the van goes flat. So he said, I want some strip lights. 
but I want them on a switch. But in doing so, obviously at the top there, you can't see a lot because this gets full up with pipework because he's a plumber or a builder, something. Plumbing, yeah, plumbing and heating. But now they're a bit lower. He's got perfect light down here, but he can also switch them off because they're now on a nice little switch. So they're not gonna leave his van battery flat if he has his doors open. They do time out, but it'd be nice to get them done and off quicker. So that's now finished. Now we're gonna work on camera external dash camera external and then last thing I'm going to do is this cabling for this reversing camera and I've kind of got a sneaky suspicion that it's this multi-core cable here but I'll have to check in a minute but I think it's either a connection or the ca cable is broke or caught or twisted somewhere um, I'll have to get the cable run and figure out which way it goes usually to go across the top but this one comes in here and it actually goes south down to here so we'll clean up the earth so that'll be first point of call let's check them out clean them up and then we'll do the rest of it and go from there so i'll come back to you in a bit a little longer than a few minutes later all right then everyone let's just turn down this radio so we are done with the tranny what no i don't mean that front camera fitted inside the vehicle so we've got an f200 think we're front which is the little boxy one. Now this obviously is in part mode at the minute. It's just doing its thing. Um, we've repaired and fixed the camera as well. As well as in the back, we now have switchable LEDs. Obviously there's two of these. So he can turn these off and on as he wants to. Lovely. At the back, we've got an external rear camera. This again is by Thinkware. Um, it's taken a bit of time because what we've done instead is I've fitted it to the brake light as opposed to drilling into the body of the vehicle. The reason is, is this is easily replaced. The door is not. So in case anyone gets funny about there being holes in the door and it, it rusting and whatever, I've notched out the top of the brake light and the lead goes in, but we've actually screwed it to the brake light itself and I've sanded down the screws and filed down the screws on the back so they're not touching the body. Cable tucks in and it's all out of the way. So we have perfect fitment. Look at that, look how close that is, eh? Will not hit. Perfect. Um, and the rear camera that was faulty is actually, so I've gone through all the lead in here, all the connections, I've cleaned up the earths. Um, there's a, two connections in here that go across and one of the plugs you can pull apart probably by about a millimeter, two millimeters, and that is making the screen flicker. So I've re-cable tied the connector back together, the plug, giving it a little test. Um, and even Harry sitting in the vehicle, me wiggling the thing around, I could not get it to flash and kind of disconnect. So we're gonna say that is a win. Obviously I won't know until he's tested it myself. Um, and he's driven it for a few days. But other than that, I'm quite confident that we have Hearing fixed this little bad boy. Motion detection recording. Nine and. Event detection recording. Three. Occurred. So we'll just pull this thing out. Continuous recording will now start. So the camera before was flickering like an old TV set that was receiving poor, poor signal. And now that's a really, really stable picture. So I'm pretty sure we've cured our issue. I'm just gonna go forward a bit, readjust myself over a tad. There you go. I think we've uh, fixed the demons, as it were. really well as well I've done a little setup on my phone checked everything is all gravy and I'm good with that but we're not getting any kind of flicking which is good
start this one up, give the customer a call. Job done. Right. Let's get the old girl in. I'm going to take the Segway home tonight. During parking mode. Motion detection recording. Over 10. Occurred. So the transit van has just been picked up. Dude's Continuous recording will now start. Dude's very happy. On your smartphone, connect to a Wi-Fi network whose name starts with Thinkware. GPS connected. Exactly what you wanted on a camera. A bit of protection. A bit of safety. It's all good. Ugh. Oh. But I am... Uh, Christmas lights are on. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go home. Really tired today. So I've gone home, get an early day, do a bit of chopping up a video for you, lovely lot. All my new subbies, welcome everyone. Um, tomorrow, what have I got in? Wednesday tomorrow. So I'm supposed to have a taxi coming in. We're supposed to be doing a three-way camera and swapping out the reverse camera that's gone bad. It's a standard Mercedes Vito. And in all honesty, I don't know if they're gonna show. Could be one of those. Could be a booked in, never turned up. But we will play it by air tomorrow morning. Um, we will see how that goes. But other than that, we're done for today. I haven't tidied up, I had a little sweep up. Um, but I'll leave it till the, till the morning. If he doesn't show, I'm gonna crack on with Lotus stuff. We've got parts, we've got some bits and bobs we need to build. I need to start cleaning uh, heads, injectors. We can put the pistons in the liners. We can seat the liners in the block, but not glue them yet. And then I've got two heads to take apart, all the injectors and the inlets and all that sort of stuff. I can start building the heads, get them ready, change all the gaskets, clean all that out, get rid of all the silicon. Uh, and carry on with the Lotus bits. So we will do that tomorrow, should the Mercedes not come. But other than that, fellas, it's done for a snap on Tuesday. I did pick up a set of those magic pliers. Um, where are they? There they are. So we've got the adjustable, they've got the grip that obviously allows you to do up and tighten nuts. And they're adjustable as well, so they do separate. And that's the part number there, HJ47ACF1. Um, but yeah, you can use them as a, an adjustable plier and adjustable spanner at the same time. So that's cool. Obviously we've had the new flyer, not much in it. And I did notice I got my trim, uh, my terminal tool replaced, but by the looks of it, Jody said they've now changed the colors. So we're gonna have to change all of these out because I can't have one looking like that. My OCD will cluck. So we'll have to change all of these because I can't have one and not. <laughs> That's just the way I am. I'm an I'm a awkward, weird little fella like that. Um, but yes, I've got my gloves. I'm gonna get my hat sorted. The Segway is on charge, but we should be. Are we on green? Yeah, we're on green, so that's ready to go. I'll get the coat sorted, get me a woolly hat. Change the GoPro to my head cam, in case I need to video any idiots on the way. Um, but other than that, Tuesday, snap on Tuesday is done. I will love you and leave you. See you all in the morning for our little chat. Uh, and that's that. See you then. Bye. You told me you had subscribed to ASC Audio and now you've missed an episode.